All right, welcome back again. We sit there on top of the Good Morning Niger show on top of Azobe and Max TV. We tell you now before, say, when we show back, we get one old bonger casual guest when he be say, when it comes to matter, we consign the real estate matter in short. Now then, they call people with Sabi on top of the matter. Make it not be like, say, we two waste time at all at all. We go jump, enter the matter, make I bring to you the person when he be say, we they call Mr. Samuel Williams. Now he be the CEO, Grand Duke Investment Company. Limited, Mr. Samuel. How far now? How we do? I like the way you dress. You just dress like person. You say you look like real estate person. You get the way for dress. For no reason, you say you be real estate person. But you're welcome, Mr. Samuel. Now, Samuel, make we shook eye, enter inside. How this regulatory be? When you be say send it all pass, will take effect real estate for Nigeria. But before you go start to the took mat on top of the matter, we go. We go jump into one small chickily thing where we go chuck our eye put. Then see where send the yana come up from the yam chopping mat so that we'll come back again. Then we'll go direct the question to you. Now we'll go see what they talk. Excellency, the President of the Senate, my distinguished colleagues, the Senate of the Federal Republic of Nigeria at its sitting on Tuesday, 22nd June 2021, considered for the second reading a bill for an act to establish the Real Estate Regulatory Council of Nigeria to provide efficient, effective, and transparent administration of the business of real estate development and prescribe minimum standards for the conduct of the business of real estate development in Nigeria and for related matters, 2021. The bill was referred to the Senate Committee on establishment and public services I was mandated to report back within two weeks. The bill was sponsored by distinguished senator Wakako Aliyu. It was read for the first time on Wednesday 28 April 2021 and the second reading on Tuesday 22nd June 2021. The objective and intent of the bill, the objectives of the bill are to one, I mean A, standardize the business of real estate development in Nigeria by regulating the conduct and, trans and transactions in the real estate sector. B, provide enabling environment and transparency, uh, and transparency in the business of real estate development in Nigeria. C, make the business of real estate development in Nigeria conform to international best practices and safeguard the ultimate interest of all stakeholders in the business. D, curb fraudulent practices in the business of real estate development in Nigeria. E, to establish the real estate business conform with Nigeria conform with national building code in Nigeria. All right, welcome back again. This one not be saying at them, say them. Say you don't hear them from the young shopping mat of the upper chamber of the Senate as the way that the chook mat on top of the regulatory B when it be say Senate, they won't pass. When it be say it go affect real estate for inside our Obodo Nigeria. Now, in case you not to pick the word, we'll make I just give you some brief with the inside world before we go turn the table, face our Ogbonga guest with the DRC, Mr. Samuel Williams. Now, the upper chamber, they don't call Senate and they won't pass the bill when they say it will help re reduce fraudulence. When they say fraudulent, me, woo, 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 why you, why you, things. So, it be said that the practice for the real estate sector for inside this, our Obodo Nigeria. This now to ensure the real estate business, say, they go there in line with the National Building Code of Nigeria and to also create innovative and sustainable environment to take promote Nigeria as real estate investment destination for Africa and the rest of the world. Now, maybe we just jump, enter. Maybe we establish the fact first. What it be real estate to a layman? We just the year. Um, if you go ask me that question, real estate uh, land involves land, houses, anything land, anything under the land, and, uh, you know, the building. So... Now, what it be real estate for layman? Okay, now, you don't hear what the Senate then talk. I believe, say, you hear. Yes. Now, 
waiting, you go react to waiting the talk based on say they don't pass the bill now, say they won't use them to regulate the real estate. Most in particular, make a chook eye for the part where they say because of fraudulent act, we don't the chook hand for inside the matter of real estate. <laughs> uh, if not fraudulent matter, that will not be today. You know, real estate developers, there are lots of fraudulent guys out there. Um, and uh, a lot of victims too. And I feel that I know, say, this um, bill would impact uh, the industry positively mm. because, you know, the industry is left unregulated. Anybody can do it if they like. Uh, developers, uh, clients go pay for quality uh, apartment. They're not going to get them at the end of the day. Land. So many stories, you know, been in the industry for over three years now. So, yeah. Now, make look at from this angle first. Uh, passing this bill now, how you think, say, it could take affect somebody where they develop for for place like Ibeju now? Mm. How you think, say, it could take affect that kind of person? Okay, now they don't pass the bill. Now, because one thing when I know say we get for Nigeria, we say we know this will be follow up exactly. things. So to you now, okay, make we assume so okay, they don't establish them. Mm. How you think, say, if it take affect now the man will be just investor for the real estate? Matter. Well, um, it will help because as an investor mm -hmm. or let's say a developer, you go there very careful of the type of building where you they build for people where they come patronize your business. Both the quality of the materials, the quantity, uh, even the environmental impact. Mm. You go there very, very careful. And you know, a lot of people where they sell, and a lot of developers, some of the lands where they sell now, lands where not even get appropriate title. So with this bill, it will help where we regulate that thing so that even it, I, I, that bill is to protect the investors, mm. more of the investors, because there are more of the victims than the developers. Developers will carry money after a client don't pay. <laughs> he don't finish, you know. So um, like what happened for this lucky um, mm. Ikoi 21-story uh, building will collapse. Mm. I mean, if there is a council that is set to look into this thing carefully, I don't think that would have happened. You understand? You make example to two things when I want to pick out here. Yeah, you talk about materials. And you talk about the council. Now, citing Ikoi as a case study. Now, the materials, regulatory body, not the way support, they call ascertain the level of materials and all that. So, waiting, that body, I believe, say, they're not the joint senate where they pass B. So, wait, so far, so good in the past. Waiting, that body, they do. Because you did the sector. Whether on the psychom navigator, on another, on another, pass through them. Like now, nah, report will get from the Koi, and where you even talk, mm. you know, even insure that building. Imagine, imagine. So, uh, you know, now nah, 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 some of the things where we go to talk with that, uh, you know, why somebody go and back on such a huge project without insuring it? You know, if there's a regulation there, it will be able to put these guys, these developers, checkmate them. Yes, exactly. Because it doesn't make sense. It don't make sense. You get mm -hmm. it. So, um, uh, so what about the the materials, the construction I, side, the kind of materials, the kind of rod, the kind of the amount of the amount of uh, uh, cement? Uh, sand. Who would the chuck eye for that if they don't pass this bill? Who would the chuck and put? Who would the chuck eye for that one to make sure say every contractor with this site they meet up that standard? Uh, well, the council they want put in place now. Chebi, now they go, they go, they go make sure see all those things they uh, checked, you know. So to you, you, you really feel so okay, this be where they pass now, now the ultimate, and they go, they okay. Uh, well, I believe so. Okay, now coming to the fraudulent side, we never really scratch that part where mm -hmm. we. Now we all know, say, like um, speculation where they are there, say a lot of. Um, a money laundry, come be like saying at the real estate side, they don't they won't push them go. You see this one as part of waiting the they like inform the upper chamber to to really press this act when you be say don't the term bill now. Waiting you go react to that very part because fraudulent not be really the building process. If it's still reach the part of say okay, investors with the poor hand inside the real estate. Uh, I, if you go ask me, I feel that one go both ways. You know, fraudulent can mean 
you know, developers go and back. And I mean, we don't talk developers. Uh -huh. We try to go the other way now. Uh, yes, I think so too. Because of course, <laughs> the real estate industry, they, they use that London money, that one now for sure before. So uh, this council go help also to regulate. Uh, you know, the EFCC, if you are a real estate developer, you have your SCOM certificate, mm -hmm. that one, EFCC FIDE, use that one, they checkmate, wait till you they do, okay. you know, from time to time too as well. The real estate sector now get a body when it be so okay. Uh, they get body, but you know now, it's not today effective like that. Oh, it's not today effective, not this synergize yeah, with exactly. the government. Exactly, not today effective. So, so, so how you think, say, moving forward, moving forward, the fit checkmate all the developer, real estate persons and all that? Well, uh, this bill is going to help first day of four, and uh, government just have to you know, follow up with these developers. There are lots of new developers springing up. Mm. Plenty, of, plenty of them, they come up every day. And, uh, you know, this bill go help a lot. And, uh, you know, when they create such society for developers to also, you know, exchange and communicate and see how they go take better the sector too, that one go also help too as well. And another thing will go help, where clients go feel they complain to when they have such problems with developers. You know, because a lot of clients have complained about fraudulent land, fraudulent, um, uh, you know, developments mm -hmm. and all those stuff. So if there's a body where clients could, you know, petition these developers, it go make sense a lot. Well, um, I would like this one. <laughs> Lives we uh, we encountered recently. Mm -hmm. Remember, seeing just like, two cases in recent times yes. for inside Lagos, one for Badagri and one for inside Lagos. Um, or, or Mr. Samuel, um, for instance, the Badagri own na actually old house. In fact, research mm -hmm. concurrent say na actually a bungalow. We say the person won upgrade mm -hmm. to a story building. Now, if to say as things used to be, you know, say different factions suppose they waited for inside building. Yes. You get the structural engineer, you yes. get the quantity surveyor, yes. you get the surveyor who oh, go do your own work and exactly. all of that. You feel say now all for inside on a real estate association, if on a get one, on a mandate everybody will be developer or we suppose develop property to get all of those experts, you know, involved in a building. I've been mean, a freestyle, everybody do it in their like. No, no, not be freestyle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, there are different uh, you know, people that play to developing a property and yes. Of course, those things are put in place. It's just that people will but still... But they, they use them for almost Ex every construction, for every, every project, um, any problem. It, it can't depend on the developer. Hmm. Because some developer go employ unprofessional, hmm. you know, workmen to construct their project. So... Uh -huh. <laughs> you, you talk something like, say, oh, we all know the Nigerian thing. Everybody just, they freestyle. They do their own. Mm -hmm. But you, you see this be like, what if it's... If you bring a synergy. Yes, I do. I oh, you bring a synergy. Go, uh, and and then one last question where we get for this matter. You know, say, mm, when it comes to building, we get people who be say, like uh, Baba Yabo, we be say, he don't they build house since 1854. Take mm -hmm. say, he don't build for Yasikira, he don't build for one senator, he don't build for, so he don't follow some of those engineers and work, so he don't sabi everything, how to mix the proper cement, how to do this mm -hmm. and that and that. So we don't believe, say, them on their own. Now then Kaja, now they be the engineer, we're supposed to do this work. So what's it going to be the place of these local people then? If it be say, this um, regulation. We're not going to school like the professionals, <laughs> the owners. If this regulation come true, where's it going to be their place? Because for all we know, that this there's one that they have engaged already. <laughs> oh, well, that will go out, though. Uh, uh, well, uh, uh, professionalism cannot be judged based on certificate because a lot of these workmen, mm. they are very good at what they do. Okay. So it will come depend on the developer where they employ these people to scrutinize them. Mm. You don't understand? So it go know which one, you know, they have their process of doing that. Uh, definitely, there will be a post or position for these guys. So definitely, we're not going to incorporate them. Of course, into of course. The because I'm all, if, if you can't leave them out. <laughs> you can't leave them out. <laughs> Mr. Samuel Williams, the CEO, Grand Duke Investment Company Limited. Did they hear with us the trick mat on top how the regulatory B will be say send a job pass? I want to affect the real estate business the real estate sector for inside nigeria yeah i want to say a big thank you to you when you say you find that time to come chuck mat on top of the matter i believe say we don't get one or two gray area when you say you get the way it be on top of this guy at least we don't get an understanding you get any other thing you would like to just ship in uh, well, uh, for, just to enlighten our for people investors, about this for investors i think you know a lot of 
investors know they do their due diligence too. Uh, mm -hmm. Before you go even think of buying properties from mm -hmm. any developer, make sure you don't do your background check on that developer. Mm -hmm. Their mm -hmm. previous work, their track record, possibly even reach out to another client without buying from them mm -hmm. before. Do you understand? And uh, quantify what they are doing. The we say quantify what they do. And um, you can go on site and see what they are doing, especially if you are buying off plans. A lot of people in Lagos buy off plans, which is a very good one. But when you go on site, you ask questions. Uh, what you want they use for this construction? Which type of material? What you can ask all those questions, and you are entitled to knowing, you know, those information because you are an investor. You get them. Yeah, sorry, say the time suppose don't go there. Then this thing I just jump into my mind sharply. Normally, to approve plan of story building, you know, say they're much more easier with 15 story. Yes. But now, a lot of people will go get the approval for 15, they'll quite increase them again mm -hmm. because they're more difficult for 20 something. Yeah. That bridge, why they happen like that? Sharply, I beg, more just talk about intensity. Hey, you go ask the people where they do that. Let's talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, <laughs> thank you, well, Mr. Samuel, for your time when you give us. And we'll sit there on top, the Good Morning Niger show. We they come back, not go anywhere.